Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is Asim here. Uh, this is a bit new setting. I have kept the phone a bit top than earlier used to be this side. This time I have kept it on the tripod on the top. So you might be seeing a higher view than earlier. Coming back to the topic. So in this video we are going to explore how user agents could be used to bypass like some of the checks and unlock some of the websites which basically restricts on the basis of user agent and allows search engine optimization like allows search engine to basically you know, skim through the content using that as a like as an exploit to like visit this website and read the articles maybe or browse the internet whatever the pages were not allowed in the usual context it's just a disclaimer you should always subscribe to the whatever feed you are using and not use this to circumvent any of the checks that are present. Also, uh, it's not a tip centric web uh, video. It's actual like it's actual computer science that's going on and how these things works. Because hacking is all about learning things and then maybe tweaking a bit to uh, work like make them work in manner that it's not meant to be right. That's what we are going to do. We are going to learn about user agents and how these things works and then use it to our benefit to unlock some of the websites. I already talked about what's a user agent in the previous like in the previous video, but just for some um, like revision type of thing. The user agent is basically a request header that goes to the backend server whenever you your browser makes a request or whenever you make a request through your laptop. Whether you do a curl request or you do a Python request or any or browser request, every of these requests have a user agent string. Its main usage is basically to identify uh, the browser that's accessing the resource, and in some cases, it's like to provide a backward compatible web version as well. Like some of the browsers use, like if you're using Internet Explorer. So many of the JavaScript features might not work. So for that particular thing, they might like they might show a slightly different page so that that page renders properly. The very common use case is basically when you're browsing a mobile website. So mobile websites are slightly different than the like the actual website desktop version. So the content remains the same, but the layout changes. So if you would have opened your phone and if you would have clicked on the like desktop version of a particular website. The mobile browser, you would see that it like enlarges or zooms out. So that is one of the very common use cases. So if you could see that, uh, so this is medium, and you would see that you have one free member only story left. Then I opened another article and your last few member story, and then this is blocked, right? Read the rest of the story with a free account. But if you uh, like Google this article, Google search. So in Google. It might be that you could see a summary kind of thing here, right? Basically, the Google was able to scrape it and Google was able to go through it. So if I become myself Google or if I portray to this website that I am Google, so that way even I could skim through the content, right? So that's what we are going to do. And I would also show you the limitations of where these things might not work. First, uh, you need to install the extension. So this is the user agent switcher. This is here. Could see this layout here. So it has all these user agents. Basically, once you click on one of these, your user agent string changes. And then I have also another one of these. So it is user agent switcher and manager. So both of these work in tandem, like it's the same. However, in this particular, the second one, the user agent switcher and manager, it by default has a lot of user agent strings. You could uh, add your own strings as well. Like if you change this string and if you to a seam string. Hacking simplified. So the user agent string would change to that. And it, the same goes for Chrome, Firefox, you could install it there as well. So I have both of these installed. So now let me first show you what is my user agent. So current user agent is this. And if I like use this to change my user agent to say suppose hacking simplified. I click there apply active window so for this active window it would be applied and if I refresh it you could see that it, the layout has changed because Google has detected it's not a desktop browser rather a different browser so the layout has changed and you could see that my user agent is hacking simplified 
Now if I just like uh, reset this and restart this, then if we refresh the tab, you could see the actual user agent is there. So that's the like basic thing what a uh, user agent is. Now let's see what we can do to bypass the thing. So we have this and like let's see this other extension. So we are going to change ourselves as a Google. So we would be using Google bots user user agent string. So uh, why this happens is first let me show you what happens here. So I'm pressing Control Shift R for a hard refresh. You could see sorry you have been blocked. So what happened is medium detected myself as google and it doesn't allow like google to scrape my content so because if that would be allowed uh, the whole content would be easily accessible but even then they want that search engine optimization should be there so they add the meta tags and on the basis of meta tags it could be easily like ranked on the basis of whatever it's there, whatever the article is about Content is not actually scraped, but the meta tags allow it to basically do a search engine optimization. So these bots, Google bot or this Slurp bot or Bing bot, so these are basically search engine bots. And a lot of websites they allow these bots to scrape their website or basically surf their website, so that the search engine optimization or their ranking goes up and their content can be backlinked and a lot of things. So Google is not allowed. Uh, let's check for Yahoo. Now I'm doing Control Shift R see that this page has been loaded and the whole article is there so that's basically that so it's basically allowing google uh, yahoo to scrape the content so if i check my browser what is my browser what is my user agent so here you could see uh, my user agent is yahoo slur so it's basically a uh, very simple thing you get it right so you could if like one of them not work you could try the other one the third one so these like bot user agent strings are basically what might allow you instead of these because these are all consumer uh, consumer user agent so if they are not allowed on one they won't be allowed in other as well same goes for this so if i switch back to my default user agent this article won't be allowed again this is the one we just unblocked See that there's this login kind of thing here this so now coming to the limitations so this won't work in places where you have to subscribe to actually get the content because there they need to get a premium subscription so let me show you so this is the hindu page so this is economic times page right and this et prime so et prime is only for subscriptions like only if you have subscribed to the for 80 prime members so even if i change or switch to different user agents it still won't allow that because it's for prime subscription only same goes for hindu some of the article on the hindu the same goes for that that's pretty much about this hope you learned a new thing about user agents and how you could use it to your benefit so yeah have a nice day